When you're buying a truck or about to buy a truck, if you're going to enter into a lease purchase contract agreement, you should know right up front, and it's only it only makes common sense that this contract is there not to protect the purchaser or the truck driver. The contract is to protect the leasing company. Now with that in mind, we've analyzed a contract that was recently entered into by a couple of subscribers of ours that has some dangerous clauses within the contract. And I'd like to take the time to point out these dangerous clauses to you. The end result was, sadly, that these people lost the truck, lost their job, are deeply in debt, their health has gone downhill because of the stress of all this matter, and now they're, now they're tied up in court to the tune of thousands and thousands of dollars. So that's why I want to talk about this today. This video is brought to you by GP Transco. They are a mid-sized carrier out of Illinois and are the third highest paying carrier in the nation currently. They hire out of all states and run in all states. So if you want to get paid well and be treated with respect, check them out at their website at gptransco.com or give them a call now. These people have sent us a copy of their contract so that we could show and shed some light on some of the dirty clauses contained within this contract with the hope that it would shine some light on the whole crooked episode. There are sharks in the industry, I'm always talking about them. Now we're not going to disclose any names or the name of the leasing company involved, but we can give you a hint about the leasing company. They're already in big legal trouble. So here's the first contract clause that I didn't like the sound of. The client authorizes and directs the carrier to remit electronically as client's agent each and all settlement compensation for all other amounts, less chargebacks, blah, 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 blah. What that clause actually says is that the, the, the guy buying the truck, the client, agrees to let the carrier take his truck payment out right off his statement at source before the truck driver gets his paycheck. Do you get what I'm saying there? They're telling the carrier, they're authorizing the carrier to take the money out for the truck payment before the driver even sees the paycheck. So the problem with that is that what happens then is if you have a bad month, a short month, something goes wrong, a breakdown, a repair, whatever, that much money has already gone out of your check before you get it. And it may not leave you as the driver enough money to head back out for another trip or something like that. The second clause in the contract that I came across that shocked the heck out of me was the payment schedule, how much the payments were. And the payments were just wild. And I thought, man, why is that? I went back and forth until I found in the contract that they designed it to be what they called a team driver contract, which stipulates that the truck will do more miles so they'll be able to pay more money more quickly. And I have a huge problem with that because then, then you're locked into that payment. You're, you're locked into that money to the lease company no matter what happens, no matter if your partner gets sick, no matter if the weather is bad, if the carrier is slow, or you get a pandemic situation like we're in now where the freight just disappears. What I would have recommended is having a smaller payment and giving you a chance to manage more of your money as you receive it from the carrier. The third clause that I found dangerous reads as such. This equipment lease is a non-cancelable lease. Payment is due promptly and is absolute and unconditional. The reason this is so dangerous is there's absolutely no wiggle room. No matter what goes wrong, you're bound to this contract. And contracts are like that. You're bound for the full term. So if conditions change in your life or you change carriers or something like that, they don't care. doesn't matter to them. They just want that huge payment every month on the date that it's due, regardless of what happens to you. I don't like the fact that there's no wiggle room, no forgiveness if something goes wrong in your contract. The final clause I found to be very dangerous was this waiver of jury trial. And I could hardly believe that was in there, but I can believe it, but that's that's basically a violation of your Sixth Amendment rights. You're entitled to trial by your peers, by a group of your peers, and that's not what they want you to sign off on there. So that's even unconstitutional. The problem is that contracts are made to protect the leasing company or the carrier or whoever you're dealing with. You've got to read these things 
thoroughly. You really should take these contracts to a lawyer and have him peruse them first. There's nothing warm and fuzzy about a contract, and if they have to throw the driver underneath the bus to collect all their money, they won't hesitate. They'll do it absolutely. And that's, that's really not a very fair way to operate, but that's the business way to operate. And that's just what they're going to do. And the moment they can take advantage of you, they will, and that's just the problem with it. So let's look at how this all played out for the couple that I'm referring to. They entered into this contract with a leasing company, and it turned out the problem was it, it was a brand new truck, but the truck was a lemon, and that happens. They come off the line every once in a while. So no matter what they did, they couldn't keep their miles up because the thing was in the shop all the time. And finally, they got so far behind that they took the truck back because they never they never were able to have the truck repaired properly. But that's all it took to sink these poor people. They, they entered into the contract with good intentions. They intended to fulfill every obligation. And it was just the matter a fact that they got a lemon truck and couldn't get away from it because it was the contract that brought these people down. Read everything carefully before you sign it and if you don't understand it, don't sign it because I don't want to see this happen to you. Stay safe, keep the rubber side down, we'll see you on the backhaul.